Hello everybody and welcome to the third math challenge and today's math problem is going to be a fairly interesting one because this right here is a math Olympiad problem. Now when you look at this equation it it's, looks like a fairly simple one right I mean all you're given is 2 to the power m minus 2 to the power n is equal to 2016 and you've been asked to figure out the values of m and n and first thought that may pop up in your head is hey look I could just simply substitute some values of m and n well you could give it a shot uh, uh, you know if you're very good with calculations because 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5, you must be familiar till here, but 2 power 6, 64, 2 power 7, 128, and like that, when you do the calculations, you'll come to know that 2 to the power 10 is going to be 1024. Right, fine. So you've got to step up a little further. Now, 2 to the power 11, as you know, is what? 2 multiplied with 2 to the power 10. So 2 times 1024 is going to be 2048. So, yeah. It, it looks fine. I mean, yes, uh, this could be 2048 and then minus something, uh, you are going to get 2016. But then what you are subtracting uh, also has to be in the form of 2 power n. What if this is 30? What if this is, uh, you know, uh, 28, right? That is also possible, right? So that's where the challenge lies. I'm sure you've understood what this is. So what we are going to do now uh, is that we're going to convert this from a subtraction problem to a multiplication problem because figuring out the prime factors for 2016 is not going to be a big deal. So let's go ahead and figure that out now. Okay, first step, prime factorization of 2016. So we, we're all familiar as to how we're going to do this, right? So 2016, let's start by dividing with the first prime number 2 and what we get is 1008. Now this again is divisible by 2, so this is going to be 504. This is again divisible by 2. This is going to be what? Uh, 252. Yep, I'm, I'm fine with that. And this is going to be 2 times 126. Uh, 126 divided by 2 is going to be 63. Now 63 is not divisible by 2. So I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to stop that here. So 2016 can be expressed as, you know, the product of these many 2s with 63. Right? So how many twos are there? One, two, three, four, five. So 2016 can be written as two power five multiplied with 63. Now I've got to convert the left hand side of the equation in a similar form. And that's, that's pretty simple. I mean, if, if you've understood this, two power m has got to be bigger than two to the power n because the right hand side is a positive number, right? So the power m has got to be bigger than power n. I'll write that down here. m has to be more than n. And this is where the trick gets smarter. Now look, let's suppose you have an equation like 2 to the power 7 minus 2 to the power 3, right? Now 2 power 7, I can write it in terms of 2 power 3, right? So this can be written as 2 to the power 4 multiplied with 2 to the power 3 minus 2 to the power 3. I'm using fairly simple rules here. a to the power m multiplied with a power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. And then I can go ahead and take 2 to the power 3 common and write it like 2 power 4 minus 1. So you see I've converted this subtraction into a multiplication thing. I'm going to repeat the same thing here, right? Uh, m, 2 power m, I'll be able to write it like 2 to the power n multiplied with 2 power something p, right? I don't know that. It's fine at this point in time minus 2 power n. Now both these terms have 2 to the power n common. I'll take that out and then this becomes 2 power n multiplied with 2 power p minus 1 equals 2 power 5 multiplied with 63. There you go. Now I can compare the terms on the left hand side and the right hand side and yeah it could be the case that 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 5. So when this is the case I found my n value as 5 right and now comes the p value. So when I equate 2 to the power p minus 1 as 63, 2 power p becomes equal to 64. Now 64 we know. How do you write 64? 64 off the top of my head can be written as 8 times 8. 8 can be written as 2 cube multiplied with 2 cube. So this becomes how much? 2 to the power 6. So this is 2 power 6 which means p value here is going to be 6 and you all know what m value was, right? m value was how much? p plus n. I, I know both p and n now and there you go m value here is going to be 11, which means the substitution that, uh, method that we were trying out initially would have worked as well, right? But more often than not, it, it, in some cases, it may not as well. So you've got to know this wonderful technique where you manipulate the equations to suit to your uh, advantage in calculation. So that's it. m value here is 11 and n value here is 5. Now I've got a challenge for you. 
a similar problem, I'm sure you'll be able to figure this out. Let us know the answers to this in the comments box. And then next thing, wonderful news for you. Baiju's classes and app now are absolutely free, but yeah, this thing is a limited time offer. So when you are, you know, going through the page, the links to this could be found in the descriptions box. All you've got to do here is in the discount code, just write Y-T-F-R-E-E -E, and then yes, enjoy, uh, Bob, you know, the Baiju's classes and app free of course. Now, as I said, guys, you've got to use this code only then, and this is going to be a limited time offer and you will get these, the two teacher advantage where one teacher is teaching you the concepts and then simultaneously you'll have another teacher to clarify your doubts. One-on-one -on -one guidance, the live interactive classes, some, some trailers, wonderful trailers. You can find this on the YouTube channel, of course. And then after class assignments and assessments, now these are going to help you understand where you're going wrong, like, like what concepts are, are, you know, you're not finding it that, that easy to understand. So there'll be practice problems that will reveal the loopholes or glitches in your understanding. And lastly, you can schedule these as per your convenience. So I am sure you guys are going to love it. I mean, come on, this is free of course now. So do go ahead and give it a try. And lastly, if you've liked this video, this amazing Math Olympiad problem, hit that like button. It'll mean a lot to us and share it with your friends as well, right? I mean, they must be preparing for these kind of competitions along with you, right? And lastly, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you and bye-bye.